I should. I should. I should do it. You're right. All right. This random stranger convinced me that I need to buy this hat. All right. Well, today we are at Antiques Marketplace of Le Moyne. It's been about two, maybe even three weeks. It's been a while. Um, I feel like I put out the video like not that long ago, though. I, I held on to it for a while. So for you, maybe it's only been like a week. But for me, being here, it's been longer. Uh, we're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. This bird is $48. And I think, I think that this is the same artist as, as, as the birds, as the birds on my wall, right? Am I crazy? I don't know why I'm trying to blank. Let's investigate this bird. E Z E D Z Y. Why do I recognize that? Because I've had it before. D Z E D Z Y. It's not the same, it's something else. But it's something I'm familiar with. I'm buying this whimsical bird and I'm finding a place for it in my house. Because everybody needs a bird in their house. I already have four, but I need another one. I need one that doesn't. Doesn't need $50 bags of bird food. I just brought the bird up to the front desk and I'm thinking that this lady probably has more feathers on her hat than that bird actually had on it. Probably share some of her feathers with the bird. <laughs> Let's see what we've got over here. I don't see much new stuff in the case. I think that JT actually took over the case over here. This used to be the Brickerville case. Now JT is putting a lot of stuff in here. And a lot of overspill from his booths. So we've seen a lot of it before. I had never seen that bird before. That was a first for me. All right, we're gonna head down towards Tiffany's booth. After we look at this magical hat. Boiled wool hat. This is magical hat. What would I do with this hat? Where would I wear this hat? If I was to give it to my children, would they wear this hat? I really have no purpose for this hat. I could sell this hat. Oh, that looks good. This hat? Yes. I'm trying to think what I would do with this hat if I was to buy it. It's one of those things like what I just got. Yeah. I don't want to do with it, but... Okay, so you have the same dilemma. <laughs> Yeah, but it, you're not ever going to find out again. Exactly. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. I'm trying to rationalize this. All right. How much is it? It's only $38 and 25% off. So I got to get I got to get it. It's not $38. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You should probably. I should. I should I should do it. You're right. All right. This random stranger convinced me that I need to buy this hat. We're going to buy the hat. <laughs> Okay, well, it looks like Becky is getting ready for Valentine's Day. Vintage Valentine's, only $6 for the baggie. Seems like a good price to me, but I don't know a whole lot about selling vintage Valentine's. And I feel like Andrew has a ton of these at the shop. He's got those filing cabinets full of ephemera. So I feel like if whatnot is something that we're going to stick with, that we should probably have an ephemera sale. Twelve dollars on that. Oh, this is pretty. Looks like maybe Czechoslovakia. Oh, it's our villa. That's beautiful. I love the cherries. She has thirty on that, but she has a discount of twenty dollars. So 24, that's beautiful. I really love that pattern. I think any other pattern I probably would pass on it, but the cherry blossoms with the cherries, I think that's selling, that's selling me on it. I think I'm gonna buy that. I'm standing over here outside of Tiffany's booth and I remember there was a dragon goblet that I bought right here. 
And it was the same artist that made that dragon goblet, that made that bird. Check the outer shelves here. Oh, this thing is crazy looking. What is this? What is it? Pottery dragon cup. What? I mean, how do you set it down though? <laughs> I guess you don't. You just walk around with it. That would be fun for Renaissance Fair. Which actually started last week. I'm kind of stoked for it, I'm not going to lie. I don't dress up or anything, but I do, I do love a good Renaissance Fair. Alright, I think I'm going to take this guy with me. How much is he? I should check that first. 25. That's how I recognize the name. It's not Stabley. Stabley is the one who makes the birds that are hanging on my wall in the living room. <laughs> it just stuck standing right here in this space to bring all that into my head. Yes, it's, it was the Dragon Goblet, which sold a few weeks ago. But I bought it right here, and that is the artist that did the bird, that did the Dragon Goblet. It all just came full circle. I'm a glass owl. It's Atterberry. Mm, patent date. I don't see the patent date on it. Hmm. Am I going crazy? Or does that make it Westmoreland? I feel like maybe that's Westmoreland. It's 35. Hmm. I kind of like these. These are milk glass, but they have pansies on them. I feel like it's a set. Where's the price? for the set. I'll pay 35 for the whole set. What do you think we have here? Lupin sugar. Creamer. Vase? I don't know. Hmm. Is it a vanity set? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. But if it didn't have the hand painting on it, I wouldn't care as much. But I'm really digging that design. Well, these are pretty cool, aren't they? Wooden butterflies. Set of four, twenty-two dollars. Oh, I guess they hang somehow. These are even cooler, though. I mean, they're not as cool as a praying mantis be having another praying mantis, but <laughs> they're hummingbirds. Wait a second. We're gonna stand up. Stay. Hi buddy. 27. 20% off. I'll take a chihuahua. We're going to cradle him though. We're not gonna put him in the basket. <laughs> Love these wall hanging owls for 28. Made in Hong Kong. I have literally no space for those though, so. I will pass on them. Okay. I walked back and forth in both directions. And I think that all I am leaving with today is this guy. And I'm going to try to gonna try to put him in here very carefully and hope that he doesn't shift just like that. All right, there we go. <laughs> I 
head off in this direction. I was walking by and couldn't help but admire Cindy's bird photo. I mean, I guess it's not a photo, it's, it's a painting. <laughs> this is uh, this is Cindy's booth. She is the manager of Burning Bridge Antiques in Columbia. I was walking by and I was like, oh, look at the bird. <laughs> I feel like she may have planned it that way. She knew I could not not see the bird. It's a beautiful bird. Well, this booth has really bulked up since I last came through. I like this candle holder. I try to get it out without hurting anything. $25. Pretty red candle holder made in Portugal. Oh, 23% uh, off. <laughs> okay. 23% off. I kind of like this for um, Valentine's Day. 18. What's the name for this wood? It's not on there. I believe these are made in Japan. I can't remember the name of the wood. Just burnt out. Discount on this booth. I don't know where there used to be a discount. It must be they stopped that. I'm sure you guys can let me know in the comments. I'm not sure I could pay that and still make a profit on it. But it is a very sweet owl. And I do know they come in different sizes. I had noticed that when I was walking by and I did kind of a double take. I realized now that it is, um, it is a print. So I actually had to look up this Red Wing Blossom Time set because I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe the price on it. Um, the dinner plates are only $5. I'm like, only $5? There has to be money to be made there. And there is, there is. Um, there's not enough. Like there is money to be made there. <laughs> they're red wing. And they're absolutely gorgeous. And then I was thinking to myself, you know, I could use those in my own kitchen. But I have the Louisville pottery and I like that because it's sturdy um, and it's harder for these. The kids would break these. These would not last in our household. Um, they're very thin ceramic. They're gorgeous. Um, so a set of four sells for about 30. These are $5 a piece. So Instead of four, you get for twenty. You'd make a little less than ten dollars after fees, so it's not really worth it. Um, now the teapot set with six cups, six saucers is sixty-five. It's gorgeous. I just love the lines of it. Uh, very mid-century. I think somebody who was buying it for their house that would be a really nice set. Definitely mid-century. But anyway, I think the time has come. Wait, no, the time has not come. $12. Now the time has come. <laughs> $12 Murano. Look at the Mille Fiori on that. That's gorgeous. Art glass pitcher, 12 bucks. No chips or cracks. Now the time has come <laughs> for us to head up front with our with our three dollar fin Finland glass candlestick. Oh my gosh, I'd pay more for that at the Goodwill. That's better than Goodwill prices. Church five bucks for that at the Goodwill. Okay, what else do we see in here? Because I totally missed those when I walked. I like zeroed in on that. I was so focused on that. I was just willy-nilly missing stuff. There's an angel. I think she's Chinese. If I remember, this was a little smundy though. I bet you I'm holding the price. No, I'm not holding the price. 
$99, that's right. <laughs> I remember that's why I don't usually come into this booth. Usually if I see one item, I'll, I'll like give a booth a chance. And then if I see one item that's like really high priced, I'll avoid that booth. I don't know, it's just like a mental thing. So that's why this is only my second time ever coming into this booth because I saw that one time and I was like, oh boy. <laughs> But I just gave this booth a second chance, and I'm glad that I did, because I just got two really cool items at a great price. So, the moral of the story is, Jocelyn, don't discount a booth just because you see one item that might be a little spendy. Look at that amazing bear for $99. This handmade in Italy, Murano Italia collection. Interesting. It's not a sticker I'm familiar with, though. Okay, we're gonna head up front. All right. Well, that was fun. Um, my total spend was $187. And I think my favorite item of this shopping trip was the bird. It had to have been the bird. Um, and I'm excited to see how my family reacts to the bird that I'm gonna put in the living room. It's going in the living room, no questions asked. Do you like it? Decoration over in the corner. Okay, I guess. Sure. Good thing I sold a bunch of coins today out of the booth. <laughs> Don't say it. Yeah, that's kind of like how I felt. It's kind of curious as to what mommy's, what drug to mommy was on today. What do you think of my bird? Um, I don't know. you you don't know? You're gonna sit and stare at him? He's weird. <laughs> he's not weird, he's friendly. You need to give him a name. Hager. Hager? We already have a bird name. <laughs> he needs a different name. Alfred. Alfred, I like that. Alfred the bird. All right, good job. Boy, I got to say he's much better. It's a stirrup. Yeah, it's a spur. <laughs> it's a spur. It's not a stirrup. It's the not, stirrup well, is part of okay. the saddle. All right, it's not a toy either. All right. No, oh, but it has higher intrinsic value than a bird. That bird. <laughs> I got a spur. Yeah, Actually, good. my mom gave me a used gift certificate that my mom gave me for Christmas. Mm -hmm. So that's actually part of the Gettysburg campaign. It was a it's a Doug relic. Very cool spur. Yes, mm -hmm. that's a little paperwork on it. Are you eating fortune cookies for dinner? Yeah. Courtesy of the Union Drummer Boy. Awesome stuff. I still think my bird is better. <laughs> I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.